this is Suja Devi from Royal Cyber. In this video, I am going to show how to manage MQ on cloud, especially on IBM cloud. Let's start with IBM cloud. What is IBM cloud? IBM cloud is the place where you get all IBM cloud solutions and IBM cloud tools that you need. Let's see what is MQ. MQ is the messaging system that allows applications to communicate securely on distributed system. Now uh, let's see what are the MQ features available on M IBM Cloud. MQ on IBM Cloud ensures end-to-end -end encryption through secure message transfer. You don't need to upgrade or patch your systems on which IBM MQ runs because IBM does it for you. IBM will migrate your message queue managers to the newest version of IBM MQ in minutes. These are the features of MQ on IBM Cloud. Let's see what are the prerequisites to manage MQ on Cloud. You need an IBM Cloud account to access the Cloud page. Here is the link to access the Cloud page and get signed up for. And you'll need an IBM MQ client application on your machine to connect to Queue Manager on IBM Cloud. Now let's see how to manage MQ on IBM Cloud. Login to IBM Cloud page, click on Navigation menu, scroll down and click Integrate. In the IBM Cloud integration page, click Messaging and click Learn More. A page to create MQ servers will be displayed. Name your MQ servers. I'm naming it as Test MQ Servers. Then click Create. The Creator Test MQ Servers page will be displayed. To create Queue Managers, click Queue Managers tab and click Create. Name your Queue Manager. I'm naming it as QM1. Display name as same QM1. And click Create. Click Continue to continue creating your Queue Manager. Queue Manager will be in running status once the deployment completes. Now Queue Manager is on running state. Click on the Queue Manager name. Queue Manager details will be displayed. Make note of this host name and port through which we will connect to this Queue Manager through a client application. Go through the details of the Queue Manager. And click on Administration tab and click Launch MQ Console to administer the QM1 Queue Manager through this web console. Default queues will be displayed here and topic inside this QM1. Click any one of the queues in the QM1. I have selected dev.q.1 queue. Click this icon to put some messages and click put queue depth will be refreshed from 0 to 1 to browse the message inside this queue click this icon so, so the text inside this queue is 1 2 3 so the queue depth of this queue is 1 now to clear the messages inside this queue click this more options and clear queue. Click clear queue to clear all messages inside the queue dev.q.1. To delete this queue, select the queue and click delete option. So dev.q.1 will be deleted from the list of queues. Now we administer queues on QM1 through web console. Now we will try to connect to the queues inside QM1 through a client application. For that we need to create application credentials on the QM1 manager. And click application credentials tab. Here we have to add a new application. I will name it as app1. 
and click add and generate API key. So we have successfully created an application credential. Make note of this application credential name and the API key. After creating application credentials, open your MQ client command prompt and set MQ server value as channel name, TCP, host name of the Q manager and the Q manager port and set MQ SAMP user ID as application username that we have created now. Here we are going to use cloud.app.server connection channel to connect to this queue manager. After setting these values, we'll try to send and receive messages to the queue. Go to con MQ console page. Now we'll use dev.q.2 queue to put and receive messages. Now we'll use amqs put c to put messages to the queue on QM1. Here I'm using dev.q.2q to put message. Paste the application credential API key here. The target queue is dev.q.2. We'll put two messages. Now we'll check the queue depth of this queue. Refresh this. Now the queue depth has increased to 2. Now we'll try to get the message from the same queue. Now we'll use amqs get c. Same application credential API key. The two messages one two three two three four. So we read the message. We got the message from the same queue. Now a uh, get application is connected to the queue. Now we'll see the status of the channel. Since we have connected through cloud.app.server connection channel, this channel is currently in running state. This is how you manage MQ on IBM Cloud. We have come to the end of this video. If you need help in installing or managing MQ, Royal Cyber will be happy to help. You can drop us a note at info at royalcyber.com. Thank you for watching.